the Mayfair I was launched in India. On April 23rd in New Delhi, I asked myself a question which is kind of hitting everyone's brain. Is Mi 4i better than the Mi 3 with which the company entered the Indian market last summer? So I was tempted to borrow a Mi 4i from a friend of mine to analyze it in comparison to the Mi 3. After thoroughly going through every aspect of performance, I reached at the conclusion that the Mi 3 is far superior to the Mi 4i in terms of performance. Then why would someone consider a Mi 4i? Because Mi 4i is the only Xiaomi phone right now which is running on Lollipop topped by Mi UI 6 which is very heavily skinned. If you use the Mi UI 6 on the Mi 4i and try to compare it with the Mi 3's Mi UI 6 then you will absolutely find no difference between the two interface. Mi 3 lacked just one major thing that is Lollipop. It's still running on Android 4.4.4 KitKat. The whole difference is nothing just a Lollipop. So uh, I here going to somewhat bridge the difference between the two for you guys. I will be showing you guys the step by step process to run Moki ROM which is based on CM, Sun Engine Mode. Yes you guys guessed it right. On your B3 on Lollipop 5.1.1 the latest build even the Nexus devices are not having it. It is a stable ROM with no random reboots. The regular complaint that the custom ROMs had on MI3 no lag, better performance and the best thing is it's built on Sun Engine Mode 12.1 and will give you the option of endless customization. Big your pardon? So first we will go to the given links in the description. I have already downloaded everything on my on my phone so I'll first of all go on the updater app and uh, wait for it select the uh, select choose update package go to downloads and select mi3 slash 4 wc recovery it's the clockwork mode recovery for the mi3 so you will select it it will be updated i'll come back after the update is done so the update is done in this we will reboot it and then it will again uh, come to this screen and then we have to reboot it uh, to the recovery but before that we I'll tell you to download all the three links all the uh, more three links that are present in the description below which will be of one of them would be of super su file if you need root access mocky rom zip 397 398 mb file must have if you want to install it and uh, Android 5.1.1 gap file. The 5.0 file won't be working on this. I had a force close on that. So we'll again we will reboot it into the recovery. I'll come back after the reboot. So guys we are back on. So after the after the reboot we will go back into the updater and wait for it to check for the for any update as you can see we are still running the MIUI 6.5.1 which is the latest build right now we'll go go into mode and uh, reboot to recovery mode this should uh, this should bring us to the clockwork mode recovery which we have just now installed do remember where you have co uh, copied all your uh, downloaded folders because we will be needing it now so we will select uh, system 1 and uh, wipe data wipe all user data it will take some seconds So guys, after long time it is done. So now I will tell you how to install it. Now we'll go to install zip and zip from SD card zero for internal storage. 
and go to the download folder where I have kept everything and here we will see the MK51.1 which tells us it's on Android 5.1.1 and we will select this and yes to install it will take a couple of minutes to install so I will be back after its installation is complete so guys the installation is done after some time so we'll go back again into the uh, choose file from SD card zero download folder and select PA gaps module it's for 5.1 for Google Play services it will be fast because it's really very small 70 MBs the one I have done you can install any any of it and uh, if you want uh, root access will go back into the download folder and update super su install then we'll go back reboot system now do remember guys we need to do no on both the options do not do yes then if you're you'll mess up with your phone do no and again no and now wait for a long time because it will take a little bit of time to reboot and come to Mokiro. So guys, as we have uh, installed, and installed Android Lollipop on a KitKat based uh, ROM, so it will first of all do Android apps optimization. So right now it's upgrading the apps that are coming pre-installed into the Moki ROM as we have completely wiped the phone. The phone. Your internal uh, storage won't be touched, but all your apps will be down, will be uh, deleted and all your accounts would be deleted so you have to start the phone a fresh one so as you can see guys we are all done with the upgrading and everything so we will select the language and if you go up you can find the english language really very easily next I'll set up the Wi-Fi later. Yeah, skip. Next. Next. I'll select the time later on. Start. I just need to show you the ROM first. You would be eagerly waiting. Really sorry for the cut, guys. My camera's battery got died, so I need. I have just now connected the charger, and I will show you the set. I'll show you the ROM after the setup. So this is Android Lollipop, as you can see. Open Wi-Fi found. See, right, right gesture is working. Some ROM, some apps are installed. You can install anything from the Play Store. And I'll show you the it's Android 5.1.1. As you can see. So guys, it's is Mi3 running on Android 5.1.1 which is really great I have been uh, playing with this ROM for a week now it is quite stable there are no bugs as far as uh, uh, affecting your daily use there are no random reboots the main thing is the no random reboots as the kernel sources of the MI3 were, were released by the Xiaomi a month ago so the development has been good so there are no uh, random reboots from the Moki Center you can just download the updates they are nightly updates uh, as on the sign engine mode it is completely on the CM so you can do endless customization as you all guys would be knowing sign engine mode is famous for customization thank you guys this was a small tutorial on running Android 5.1.1 on MI3 I'll be doing a lot of more uh, videos like this 
this was my first youtube video so do te tell me what was right what was wrong in the comment section do give me a thumbs up if you like the video and do give me a thumbs down if you didn't like the video and do tell me what what all went wrong i will do i will surely do well in the next video thanks a lot guys see ya